This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. This is the 78th episode of the podcast, Jay Agonoy po with Keepsakes. Thank you for listening and watching wherever you are, whenever you do it. Uh, okay, so we're available on Spotify and now on YouTube. So that's just part of the whole... Uh, reorganization of the, the things that we do during this second half of the year, especially we're still on quarantine. And yes, wag po kayo magkakamali, we are still on quarantine. So, my guest for this episode is Hino Tora, one of perhaps ilang, ilan, lang, ano, ilan lang yung mga babae sa Watageshi community. We're, we're again talking about Watage. The last episode we did this is with Clark E., with H.B. No Clarky, and uh, we now go forward to discuss uh, other Watageshi's lives naman as part of our series together with Hinotora. So yes, Hinotora, good afternoon or good evening. Uh, good evening, Jay. Thank you for having me here. And I would really like to thank you for covering the topic of Watage. Mm-hmm. Ilan, um, I mean, ilan na naman eh. Uh, the, the other, the other, uh, the other, ano ba to? The other uh, media who are covering what a gay scene are either meme pages or whatnot. Pero sige. And so, any, anything, anything you want to say first? Um, anything I want to say, well, uh, thank you for all of the viewers who are tuning in. And, yeah, I think let's just start with that. <laughs> <laughs> Hinotora Hino is part of the Senko Watagetan, which That's includes right. Supremo, si Chaz, Chaos. Chaos. Was it supposed to call him by his uh, by his uh, out person name? Chaos. It's Chaos. Chaos. Like, Chaos. Chaos. Uh, like Chaos Sensei. You know, <laughs> from Comic Girls. Yeah. Uh-oh. And aside from Botage, we also discuss the Idol Master franchise. In a little bit lang. Yeah, sure. Okay, so, so, be, so virtually, I am at the green room of Namco Pro Theater. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, pero walang gumagamit ito. Nirentahan ko ito sa Namco Pro Theater for an undisclosed price. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, will be interesting. For them to upload the sprites then for as backgrounds. Yeah, well, uh, well, basically this is Zoom. Zoom <laughs> 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 lang to. Wala renta, wala renta, renta. It's virtual renta, libre. <laughs> virtual <laughs> pahiram. <laughs> so yeah, so let's start with you. How did you yeah. get the, the, can you tell us your journey of becoming a Watageshi yourself? That's a good question. Um, yeah. I started Wotage around 2018. So it's been two years since I've started playing Wotage. I first encountered Wotage when I attended an Anikura anime club. It's like a party for the anime nerds wherein a DJ plays anime songs, game songs, anything nerdy. And then... Um, some of my teammates started dancing with lights. And like, shit, ano yun? <laughs> 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 that, that looks so cool. I don't, even, I, I don't even know what's happening. I mean, I love the music. I love attending um, mm-hmm. jam concerts during Cosmania. So mm-hmm. for me to encounter something as cool as dancing along with the music, that was really mind-blowing for me. So uh, that's my first encounter. And then I just tried asking the guys who were dancing during that event. I'm like, What's that? Can you tell me the name of that move? I'm no dancer, but I, I really need to learn that. <laughs> it looks so fun. So yeah, that's how it started. Mm-mm. So uh, was this in was this in uh, the seaside area? Yung event na pinuntahan mo? I think I can recall it. No, it was prior to that. I think the one that you attended was Volume Two of Mema Manila. Two. Yes, Mema Manila, and then the first one. That's the first one. The first in one was in Manila. Manila, no, in Taf. Oh, oh, that was yes, wild. That, that was that was really fun. A lot of people attend. Oh, I don't know oh. a lot of people, but damn, that was fun. Oh, I, oh, I, I missed the chorus. Oh, oh, so, uh, no, it's, it's, that, it's, that, it's that time and day where you can just be a tiger all the way and yeah, uh, only a few people will bat you in the eye. Mm, <laughs> or, mm, mm, mm. 
that's the perfect time to Oo. go wild. So yeah, um, moving forward, uh, you did this this water gating by yourself solo, tama? That's right. Everyone starts solo mm-hmm. since the community back in 2018 was so small. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I started practicing every day since I wanted to learn about the subculture, the hobby that is water gate. And I didn't have a team. I know Supremo, my now team captain, was creating a team. And I was like, ah, shit, I, I want to have a team as well. So I was, during that time, I was actually considering asking um, Kibana if I could join. Back then, there were just uh, a trio, a group of three. Um, but then, um, Supremo asked me if I wanted to join the team. And I, I gladly said yes. And here we are. I'm the vice captain of the team. Yeah. yeah. So, so that was interesting, I know. Uh, that was interesting, I know. And then that all these things were prior to the Asylum World Dance Battle coming here to the Philippines, right? Mm. Mm. Yes. Everything happened before the competition. It's the Asylum Dance World Battle. Mm-hmm. It's the official competition for Asylum dancers around the world, and. I think one of the contributing factors on how the community actually blew, not really blew up, but um, um, had more members is because of the exposure that is Sayalum Dance World, World Battle. It was held in um, Cosplay Mania during 2018, and since it was at a public stage, yung mga dumadaan na tao, some of them got curious, like, <laughs> what are they doing with the light stick? So I think that Mm-mm. that helped a lot, uh, pati na rin 2019. Mm-mm. And prior to all of this, of course, concerts, the, the Lumica light sticks, mga, ano pa bang mga brands ng light sticks? Lumica lang yata, merong, ano, merong gano'n na for Watageus eh. Pero before yes. that, we've, we've been attending events, concerts, and all that. Yes. And, uh-uh. So that was fascinating. Don't don't nagsimula further yung parang journey mo to becoming a Watageshi yourself, tama? That's right. That's right. Mm-mm. Back then, ang um, exposure lang naman ng Philippines when it comes to light sticks was the King Blade. It's mm, the King most Blade. widely used type of light stick, lalo na sa Philippines kasi yun nag access sa atin, di ba? Uh-oh. But then when Lumika came in, um, people started um, learning about the the silos, which is this, they're like the snap lights where you need to break in and it only has um, one to two minutes um, lifespan. You, back when we were starting King Blades, I still have my old King Blades. King Blades. King Blades. Super what, what are, what are, can, can you, can you, can we take a closer look at King Blades? Nayan? I think that, that uh, the other one, I, I, what's, what's, what's written there? It's, it's a, it's a bang dream one. Bang I asked dream. a friend to buy me one when she was in Japan. <laughs> ah, uh, and then the other was the generic one. Huh? Yeah, it's it's just the generic one, but these are so worn out. I don't think the other one has all the colors in it. I think the light's busted now. Aha, aha. I don't know. So yeah, moving on, of course, the, what you shown us is the ultra orange light That's right. Light. The ultra orange stick na, na pwede mong stardust kasi hindi naman yan battery operated eh. <laughs> stardust. It does not have people or the stage. <laughs> open space. Stardust. Open space. Open stardust space. sa open stage, yes. <laughs> open space, yep. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. oh. So, so, yun, 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 yun nga, no? Uh, from there, how, uh, until now, how many... How many videos have you done so far? Oh, oh man. Um, okay. Videos. Mm-mm. I have a YouTube channel and that's where I upload my videos that are more than one minute because um, we have several like video formats wherein we can just post a video for 30 seconds uh-huh. and it, that's just the chorus of the song. And um, I have a lot of those. I don't know. Maybe there are more than 30 already in my Instagram, Twitter, or in other people's accounts wherein I have collabed with them. But in terms of my YouTube channel, I think I have around 20 plus. 
The most recent one is actually, I posted it on my birthday on July 14. <laughs> Oy, I know. Happy birthday. Yeah, thank you. It, it, I actually wanted that to be special since we're in quarantine right now. Mm-hmm. Everyone can't go outside and gather to shoot the video. So I was kind of sad and I wanted to still celebrate me having um, playing Motage for three years plus my birthday. So I, when I made that video, I invited players all around the world if they would like to be in the video with me. And uh, it was I was fortunate enough that um, people wanted to join in. Mm-mm. Pero that was not the first worldwide collaboration you did, Tama. No, it's not. Um, mm. I'm not really sure what's the first worldwide collab, but the most well-known worldwide collab would have to be the World Watage series that is um, made by the current world champion, Hong, from Taiwan. Yes, Hong. World Watage is actually held every... New Year. It's to celebrate the whole year and showcase what every country is proud about with regards to their Wotage. So that's our first exposure to Worldwide Collab. And on my end, I also made another collab, which is my project. It's called the Wotagals. Wotagals. I wanted to show the world that um, since Watage is a male-dominated hobby, Mm-mm. as well as you know other fandoms, I wanted to encourage other girls to try picking it up, since it's such a fun way to pass time. It's also a good way to exercise and lose weight. So you know, for two years you've been doing all of this stuff, and uh, and dami mo, and layo na rin ang narating mo kung tuto o siya, no? So what? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so ilan na rin ang mga nakasalamuha mo no? Uh basically or have you have you uh, uh, went outside of the country from when the time was allowed pa and you met all of these what again? Yeah. Tell me more, tell me more. Um actually I only encountered um other players when I went to Taiwan. Taiwan. I made a video with uh, one of the players from the team called Evolution. Mm-mm. And um, that's where I got exposed. And that's where I also met Hong, the world champion. Mm-mm. However, um, when I went to Japan, I didn't have enough time to bring up the other players. So I'm, I was kind of regretting that. I, I wanted to go to Japan this year too so that I can make a video with them. However... <laughs> We can't, we can't travel right now. So everything's been mostly virtual collapse with the players from other countries. Mm. So, okay. So in that sense, you've gone, uh, you've gone international, and yeah, mo sa, sa lahat ng ginawa mo sa Wotage, ano? An- ano ba yung pinaka natutunan mo so far? What What have you learned from this Wotage? Mm. Mm. That's a that's a very good question in the deep one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Talagang you will explore your ano bang, what am I doing? What your reason for being rason that ta? Mm, in terms of for uh, personally for me, um, I learned that it's good to try out something that's outside your comfort zone. I mean, I'm no dancer, I'm no singer, I'm only involved in illustrations and arts mm-hmm. i always wanted to um learn dancing i always wanted to learn dancing i admired dancers i'm like oh they can express themselves in a different format that i can never do but then when i learned what again i'm like finally i i can express myself via a different format and then uh, hard work perseverance and I finally learned to dance in a different kind of form and I'm so happy mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of um, pag- involving others, it's the camaraderie. You help each other out. You help each other grow. When someone posts a video, they will ask, hey guys, how can I improve this? Do you think I should do this, do that? What What advice can you give me? And that's where I learned how to 
give advice and also receive um, critics with regards to my videos as well. So that strong camaraderie talaga is what I love about this, um, the Watagi culture. Mm. So you, you mentioned earlier that you also do art. So this is prior to your Watage journey. Yes. So your art, your art. Uh, can, uh, so, so, lang. Among all of your art, what can you show to us? What what can you share to others? Na pinaka yun talagang this is you. This is me. Oh, that right now. Oh, That's oh. a curveball. Let me see if I still have it on my phone. Um, I'm I'm actually the type of person who can only concentrate intensely in one hobby. Mm -hmm. So at first, I was prior to um divulging my myself to what again. I was drawing a lot of idol master and some master. Oh, oh. FGO on the side. Mm -hmm. Pero since hindi kaya ng attention span ko pag sabayin yung pagdodrawing at pag watage, right now I'm mostly just doing the watage. However, I'm trying to look for an illustration that I'm really, really proud of. When was that? It's been some time. Uh, um, it's been so long na ba? Yes, it's been so long. I'm honestly, it's been what? Three years. Three years. Since I, I'm not sure if you're gonna see this. This is one of the works that I'm. I'm not really sure if you can see it, but I can link it to you. Ah, the the takane one. Yes, I can see it. Yes. Um, this illustration was made for. I believe it was for a concert, an Idol Master concert. Um, we specifically made this for the this character Takanishijo. And mm -hmm. for her um, voice actress, Harayumi. Yes. Um, she's my favorite character in Idol Master. I've been following Idol Master for like more than 10 plus years now. And to see Harami post in her blog this artwork, mm -hmm. I, I just cried. <laughs> I, I was just so happy that she noticed it. Um, right now, I'm not really updated in Idol Master, but. I'm super thankful to Louis and Lorenzo, two members of the Idol Master PH fandom. Who, it's because the three of us that flower, um, flower project was possible. The flash test, no? The yeah, I, I, the project. Mm -mm. Nakakamis yung magdonate ng flasta for a certain event, <laughs> concerts, and all that. Kasi ako, I've been pitch, I, uh, I'm uh, merely only pitching for these flastas. Ano. So, uh, yun yung parang pang excuse ko na, hey, my name appeared on this country. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <laughs> bit controversial, but I get you. <laughs> Oh, totoo, totoo. This is a hot, that is a hot take. Pero I, I take it, kasi well, it's ano eh, Well, at least uh, you showed your effort, ano? At the very least. Pero the, oh, <laughs> I mean now now that I look uh, now that I look back at it, it it really is controversial when when I say the status. Pero that's that that's the reality. That that's the reality of it. However, I do not regret. You do not, mm -hmm. Throwing money <laughs> for the flower stand projects. I uh -oh. mean, at that point in time, I was I was really happy that at least I was able to contribute in some way. Then mm -mm. sa mga live concerts, since I can't go to Japan during those times, so that's mm -mm. one way of showing support to the artists that I. Love. Yes, yes, we 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 can all relate to that. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember the time when. We were so active. I think that's also 2018. 2018 or 2019. Or 2018 yung talagang active as far as I remember. Oh, yung mga IMAS stuff and all that. Of course, galing ako sa Love Live fandom eh. Hmm. No offense, pero yung parang it's it's not just about the franchise or it's the community. You only, ano, hindi ko iwasang makompare na the, these two franchises or other franchises all together, no? like Wake mm -hmm. Up Girls, like ano na, dito sa IMAS na to, iilan lang yung mga pinakamakontrobersya eh. <laughs> people are happy when, uh, for example, si, uh, one of them gets married. Mm. Oo. Not, not like the other branches. So I'm very chill with the IMAS community. I'm very chill with the OG. Um, I think uh, one big factor to the difference of the reactions sa mga ganyan is 
the age group. The age group. Majority of the Idol Master fans, or at least the fans of um, Namtuk Pro Cinderella Girls, are on the older age bracket. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot are already working. A lot are adults. Um, and the other um, franchises naman are medyo new. So the audience nila is also younger as well. I think that's one of the reasons why sobrang laki ng difference when it comes to fan reaction sa mga events. Oo, pero um, uh, of course there are only a few instances na talagang na parang nakakapanlumo. Pero that's just a few instances and people forget it. Ako, I almost forgot yung isang instance na yun. I won't tell it further, no? Kasi masakit. Uh, pero moving back to the IMAS fandom. Yeah. Sino ang pinili mo doon sa OG? Okay, round up lang tayo. From OG to Deremas to ML. MLTD, I mean. Uh-huh. The ML na. <laughs> uh, million Live. Uh-huh. So, yeah. so aside from Takane, may pinipili ka ba, ba sa OG lineup? Sa OG, um, yes, actually, it's Iori Minase, mm-hmm. the other rich girl of the group. Other rich girl. <laughs> I cheated her. Um, this is, I think I shared this with the Idol Master PH fan, local fandom. That when mm-hmm. I started um, the original Idol Master, I hated a lot of characters in that show when I watched the anime in 2011. And mm-hmm. as I watched through the episodes, I started liking every one of them. And by the end of the anime, I love everyone. I didn't hate anyone anymore. And it's because of that. I guess I really like their character-driven writing dun sa show na yan. Character-driven writing. Well, hindi naman lingit sa kalaman kasi ng iba na I started with Pucci Mas. <laughs> That's so cute. I started with Pucci Mas. And then I then eventually watched the OG Idol Master anime. How but, was the transition? That's very different. Well, I kind of expected it because of the memes. <laughs> the Chihayas. Uh, Chihayas. Uh, all those sad memes. Yun. Pero alam mo, parang it's kind of relatable. It's something that you respect. Kasi character development yan eh. Character development. Mm-hmm. So every character develops. And then nakita ko yung Deremas. I watched the rest of the series. Of course, uh, I didn't uh, ba, ano kung baga parang inignore ko yung mga aspects ng mga first few episodes where we talk about the stage and all that. Pero yung in the ending talaga eh. Mm. Almost the end, ba? You, you know, you know, you know si Uzuki. Yup, yup. Yung talaga eh. Talagang sa ini- at, at my mind, I was really calling for a rally. <laughs> that's not, that's not okay. I mean, mm. that's not okay na access lang yon. I'm, itching for the next episode. And while during that time, ang ginagawa ko noon, nag-rally kami. Go, Suki. Go, Suki. Ganbari mas. Something like that. And waving, waving the flag and all that. <laughs> Parang well ka talaga na hindi mo maintindihan eh. This is, well, that's just me. So, how about you? How about you? Uh, let, uh, let's, uh, let, let's tell your idol master story. As, aside from, ano, aside from OG. Eh, Deremas, Deremas. Okay, um, Idol Master story. So since I like the original installment of the Idol Master anime, mm. um, I tried playing some of some of the games. They had games sa PSP. So during that time, PlayStation Portable pa lang so. So mm. and then when they announced, uh, excuse me, when they announced the next installment, which is Cinderella Girls, I was actually excited. Parang oh. Wait. More, uh, more Idol Master. I'm, I'm so excited. So I watch um, Cinderella Girls. Of course, as a fan of the original, I can't help but compare it to the original. But what I like about Cinderella Girls is that they covered topics that were never covered in the original Idol Master, such as what if you, you all of the girls, you split them up into smaller units. Yung mga ganun, the little things na parang I like those. I, I gusto ko talaga yung mga ganong klaseng pag-venture out sa, in terms of writing characters. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's sa Cinderella Girls. Um, they have such a big pool of characters. How many are they now? More than a hundred? I can't keep up, but for the anime, I, I like I, I like how, how they tackled some of the stories there. Mm-hmm. Um, next to Cinderella Girls would be Million Live. 
Mail and live, mail and live. Back then, it was so hard to get people to join in the million live fandom mm. because ano lang ba meron? A Japanese mobile game, the manga, not everyone has the attention span to read the manga and that's it. <laughs> mm. So you have to go through the lang sa limited um, media na million live before but right now, congratulations magkaka-anime na. <laughs> we waited seven years for it. Seven years. <laughs> Seven years. Seven years. That's I can't right. Believe it's, uh, I can't believe it's already seven years since. Right, right. So, uh, tanal, but um, in terms of million life, the reason why I really love it is because of its strong ties to the original game. So they're like the juniors of the original idols in in Namco Pro. So I love that. Marami rin sila in number. Mm-hmm. 39 na naging 41 but it's it's just super fun um, I miss the Idol Master fandom but there are times where in, I just can't keep up and, and dami nangyayari and then we have the next installments pa which is shiny colors yeah, Sadi, shiny colors I oh. get into shiny colors kasi yun yung time na nag delve na ako more into water game so I didn't have the att- the attention span na to keep up with everything. Mm-hmm. So, but I heard from good friends that it it's such a well-written game then. Mm-hmm. And I hope that one day it would get localization. Because I think a lot of people will get more into it pag na uh, And not just that game, all of the games na ano. Ano pa bang right. na-localize na games ng IMAS sa mobile? I think yung VR lang talaga yung VR lang talaga yun, no? And then, of course, there, there's the early stars, the movie. Oh, and no. movie talaga si Kana Yaboke yun. Oo. Mm-hmm. Have, you, have you seen the movie? I have I've seen the movie. I, Kana I Yaboke the... talaga eh. Parang, yeah. parang yun yung, doon doon sa moment sa yun makita mo, you ask yourself, what am I enjoying for? <laughs> Yeah, seriously, Kana Yaboki, if you see, if, uh, those who have seen the movie, I'm sure you know the development Kana Yaboki had during that time. <laughs> hindi, yun ma- hindi yun maganda, pero na- na- nairaos, napagtagumpa yan. That's right. Oo. So yeah, that's, so that's IMAS. And yeah, we can talk about more of IMAS, pero balik sa Watage. Sure. Do you have any inspirations? As I, as I, of course, di ba, buong journey mo, you've been to Watage. Of course, you watch videos of other Watage she doing their thing. That's right. Sino ang pinaka-idol mo within that community? Um, pinaka-idol ko? Um, I usually tell people na pinaka-idol ko is from Japan. He's a player from Japan. He's named Duna. Hmm. He's one of the super, super seniors when it comes to Watage. He started probably more than eight years ago or more. Mm-hmm. And when I first encountered his videos, I was just so moved because everything looks so nice. I mean, if you watch his videos now and compare it to the videos ng mga new players, of course, it's underwhelming na. But when I first encountered that, I, I, I just really liked his style. Um, In terms of, inactive na kasi siya ngayon eh. In terms of kung sino na yung active ngayon, it would have to be a female player in Japan. Mm-hmm. Her name is Coco. Coco. And I I was, I invited her last year dun sa Wota Girls Project. And she said yes, so I was so happy because damn, I don't know yan. Her moves are so powerful. You would never imagine na, ako kasi I'm a, I'm, my, my arms are so weak. <laughs> So parang for someone to move like that and tapos girl pa, I'm like, Mm-mm. not to be sexist or anything, pero parang mind blown lang kasi talaga. Um, nakasama rin siya dun sa birthday video ko na pinost ko. So I'm like, Mm-mm. happy na naman ako kasi na siya. Senpai noticed you. Senpai noticed you. Yeah, parang ganun na na. Alright, so... Yeah, it's ano kasi most if I ask most uh, what a geishi siguro magi um first thing in my nila is ginyo personal. So I'm really happy to hear from you. Mm. Ano, it's it's ano, 
It's, a, it's something that I have yet to be introduced. Alam mo naman ako, saan, saan ako tumatalo na community and all that, ano? To the point na hindi ko maintindihan, where am I? That's right. <laughs> oh, oh. You're a best person. Oh, totoo, totoo. Uh, I have to admit to that. So, yeah. Um, so, you've come from drawing and then to Watage and then <laughs> doing all these other stuff and then still still sticking to Watage. Because, mm. uh, parang ang tawag ko nga dyan is uh, Zumba ng mga otaku. Eh. <laughs> Some people call it autistic dancing. <laughs> On which uh, maawa kayo sa mga ano, pa, pa, patawaran naman of- kayo. <laughs> I mean, as as part of the community, of course, it's very insulting. Kasi, mm. um, for us inside the community, Watage is not just dancing to your favorite songs. It can mm. be a sport. It can be an art form. Mm-hmm. I'm, I think it's the lack of exposure na rin ng people, of course. I mean, being a fan of an idol is niche. Wotage is more niche than being a fan of an idol. So, oh. I understand din naman the misconceptions with regards to oh. the subculture. Mm-hmm. So, in that case, what could be a way to s- spread the exposure of Wotage in the Philippines? That's that's actually a good question. Um, This year, actually... Our team sent Kowat Agedan was planning to perform in more events. Yeah, just to, you know, um, since Hibana was doing it prior mm-hmm. and um, they got a lot of exposure because of it. So, parang in order to help the community, our team would also want to perform. Parang expose yung mga tao na parang, hey, this is something cool, something new that you can try out, something fun. So, I hope you would like it. However, since na cancel ng events for this year, we were supposed to perform again for the next Otaku oh, event. Oh, Otaku talaga eh. Us oh, and Iba. Eh. But right now, wala. We have no choice. We have no choice. Uh-oh. Which is quite sad. Yeah, yeah. kasi, that, uh, ano eh, um, may di naman may kakaila eh. They allow wild people to enter and, and eat the tiger out of themselves. <laughs> bless them. Oh, bless them. Sometimes uh, we just have to release our stress via Tiger. Uh-huh. Hamtaro. Hamtaro ring. Hamtaro ring. Uh-huh. So, moving forward. Uh, so far naman, eh, we've covered a lot of things about Hinotora, who Hinotora is. The only thing that I need to ask is, if you look at your life right now, what will be your life lessons? Deep and good question again. Props to you. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a moment of self-reflection. Eh? Yeah. Um, I think it would be with regard to the current situation that we have right now. Everyone has a very limited um, opportunity to go outside, meet other people. So right now, I'm trying to keep myself as busy as I can. It's one way of um, being sane <laughs> during 2020. It's it's hard not to go crazy during this period of time. And I would just like to encourage everyone to try out new things. This is the perfect time to try out anything that you haven't. If you wanted to try drawing, a lot of my friends are actually delving into the arts right now since they never had the opportunity. If you wanted to try dancing, if you want to continue your exercise since you stop for the rest of the year, for the year, go ahead. That this this is the perfect time. Just keep yourself busy. Do the things that you love because it's it's the best that we can do right now in the current situation that we're in. And I guess that's about it. Uh, thank you very much, Inotora, for being you, with us here in the podcast. And yes, I'm giving you the time to promote your stuff. Uh, promote my stuff? Okay. Um, I would just like to encourage everyone to support the local Watage players. Right now, we have two teams. Senko Watage Dan, my team. And we also have the other team, Hibana. Um please give support. If you see people posting their um, Wotage videos, it would be really cool if you could show their support. 
your support. Um, we really just want to make this community grow so that everyone can enjoy and be exposed to the lovely hobby that is what I do. That's it. And ayan, ano, um, speaking of which, you also have this group called Wotage Pilipinas. How about it? Wotage, definitely, we have yeah. a Facebook page. It's called Wotage Pilipinas. If anyone's interested to look into the hobby, lose weight, or meet new friends, please join Wotage Pilipinas Facebook group. Ayan. So again, once again, Hino Tora, thank you very much. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. It was fun chatting with you today. Uh -huh. I must pa rin. <laughs> I must pa rin, man. It, you just keep on doing yourself. You're, you're doing such a good job of it. We're on podcast 70 plus now and I can't wait for 100. Oo. Darating din tayo dyan. End of the year, maybe. Oo. Mga, mga, it's, ano eh, it's still half of the month. Yeah. You have time and a lot of wonderful people to interview. So, it's the one moment. Thank you again, Jay. Thank you, thank you. That wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. No episodes can be heard at anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Don't forget to visit me on social media for updates. Facebook.com slash keepsakes by Jay, Twitter at jayagonoy, YouTube.com slash jayagonoy, and my blog at jayagonoy.xyz. I hope you enjoyed listening to this podcast. Until next time.